Go ahead. I'll mute myself. Okay. <laughs> Hi, you guys. So it's another wacky Wednesday, as we all say. I don't know if you guys know, but um, tonight is Wednesday, um, February 22nd, and there's like a blizzard going on outside of my apartment in Utah. And we just drove in it to go to our Wednesday night church class and come back, be back in time for this. So God's sparing. He offered our car so that we were able to go through all of this. So we're meant to have this meeting tonight. Yay. Um, I am Melanie Durham. I am a senior gold ambassador with Lexus Worldwide. And um, we are doing our Wednesday night Zoom calls. And we do them every, about every other week, second and fourth week. But um, we make sure to get information out. And with me tonight is my um, level one gold rock star, Larissa Hahn. And we are actually doing a two-part series. So um, tonight is part one. And next Wednesday will be part two. So tonight we're actually going to cover um, a few important products are all important in their own way, but a few important products that cover mostly about gut health and the inflammation. So if you've ever heard of Plexus being a big deal, that's an acronym, B-I-G, because big is B for blood sugar, I for inflammation, and G for gut health. So hence the B-I-G, it's a big deal. And the reason that we use this acronym a lot as ambassadors is because that is the three main focuses of Plexus. So we also like to make sure our meetings and trainings focus on that. So tonight, it's a part one of a two-part series about products. We are not covering all um, 16 products tonight because, to be honest, that's so overwhelming. And that's like, you can spend already an hour on just three products alone. But we're going to try to condense it as much as we can to focus on the gut health and inflammation side tonight. And then part two next week will be um, how it correlates into the other products. So Larissa is amazing when it talks to some of these products. And she is actually going to spearhead some of these products that um, focus on the gut health and the inflammation side. So when we talk about gut health, it's all about the stomach, um, intestinal, gut, get all that gases, everything that's going on inside. And if you know or are learning about gut health, the gut is the main brain of the body. It even helps to control serotonin levels of the brain. So this is a whole new concept for a lot of people who think, oh, the body just works on its own off of the brain. Well, your gut is your brain for your body. So I'm going to turn the time over to Larissa to cover some things. And by all means, I'm going to be monitoring the chat. So if you have any questions or things that come up, let me know, put it in there, and I'll make sure to bring them up as we go because she's going to take a pause and go, okay, do we have any questions, anything I need to cover? That way, we don't want to lose anybody's thought process and focus when they have something on the tip of their tongue. So don't be afraid to put that in the chat, and um, it'll help anybody watching this recording later too. So Larissa, dun, 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 take it away. <laughs> I don't have confetti and glitter. I'm sorry. Yay blow it up. Um, thank you, Melanie, for the sweet, sweet intro. Um, yeah, so like Melanie said, we're going to try to keep things as concise as possible tonight. Otherwise, um, you know, we could be here all night literally talking about all of this stuff. So um, the, the first part of my presentation, um, we are going to talk about Plexus being big on health. Um, we're going to talk about diabetes and inflammation. We're going to talk about um, specific products. We're going to be talking about, and if my daughter comes in and my kids come in periodically, I apologize. This is a family business. Here you go, honey. Um, you're welcome. Uh, we Can you have this more, Mama? Yeah, I don't know what that means. Okay, go ahead. Um, okay, so we're going to be talking products specifically tonight. We're going to be going over five products. We're going to be going over the triplex, right? We call it triplex because there are three products, tri. Um, so we're going to be going over the slim, the um, probio 5, and the BioCleanse, and then we're going to be talking about our pain management products, which is our Ease um, products, which is actually two, so I guess technically six products. Uh, we have Ease Cream and Ease Capsules, and then we have our Nerve Capsules. So we're going to be going over those things um, and hopefully that will be good. If you guys do have any questions, like Melanie said, put them in the chat. That way we don't lose those questions. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and enter into our screen share mode. Um, okay, so um, this is my general presentation. Let me see here if I can move this thing over. Okay. And then we can actually view this. 
Okay. So Plexus Worldwide, we all know we are here. So disclaimer before we get things going, Plexus does not claim to cure, treat, prevent, or diagnose any disease or disorder. Um, today you will hear um, testimonials and experiences from independent Plexus ambassadors, and we always recommend consulting with your physician. Um, so the BIG, which Melanie talked about, um, is this a great acronym because this really does encapsulate what Plexus is all about. So B for blood sugar, I for inflammation, G for gut health. All right. So with blood sugar, um, one of the things that, you know, people are sometimes like, well, I'm not diabetic or what do blood sugars have to do with me? Um, I have no real issues with my blood sugar levels. I'm perfectly healthy. I'm perfectly fine. But that isn't necessarily the case. I actually crunched some numbers and I, I just did this with my friends on Facebook, so I don't know how this works out for the entire population, but based on these statistics, and these are um, the Center for Disease Control, okay, CDC statistics, um, based on their math, my friends list on Facebook, that small sample of people, I have almost 50% of my friends who are either pre-diabetic or already have type 1 or type 2 diabetes. So diabetes is a major epidemic in this country that I don't think it's getting its um, <laughs> proper attention um, because people are getting very sick um, and even dying or losing limbs, things like that, gangrene, um, because of diabetes. And so um, the pre-diabetes statistics are really what is very shocking to me. If you look, oops. So sorry, right here, my second point down, pre-diabetes. More than one out of three adults have diabetes or are pre-diabetic, right? So if- um, Larissa, I'm showing a white screen. You are? Yes. You don't see anything? Did you see any of my slides mm -mm. previously? No. Do you guys see any slides or do you see a white screen as well? White screen? Everyone's got yeah. a white screen? We're just seeing okay. a white screen. Now do you see a white screen? Now we see a slide that says diabetes. Now, yep, now we see it all. Now you yes. see it. I don't know what this green streak across my screen. It looks like a crayon. <laughs> yeah, that's no good. Hang on. Because you said pull it point, and I was like, um, I didn't know we were supposed to look at something the whole time. So. Sorry, yeah. You can clear I, that. Huh? With your, tool, with your um, host tools, you can hit clear. Um, I think it's across the top, but like I can sit here and highlight something if I wanted to. Hold on. Oh, it's annotation. Oh, okay. Undo that. Oh. Undo that. It won't let. It won't let me erase. It's not letting me do anything. Clear all drawings. Okay, they're weird. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like now that. we can see. Now we can follow what you're talking about. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So yes, this is this is a little diabetes. <laughs> you guys. Oh my lord, I'm sorry. Excuse me for just one minute. I'm going to mute while I destroy my children's name on. So while she's um, giving her kids a quick lecture real quick. So what she's talking about is um, diabetes, this screen. And if you're on your phone, you can make it big. If you pinch out with your fingers, you can make it big. So if you're like, I can't see what's going on, use your fingers like you would on a picture on an iPhone and just push it out um, and then you're able to um, see it a little bit better. But the diabetes, um, when there's things talking about diabetes and she's not just bringing it up from anywhere, it's actually coming from the center of disease control. So it's not stuff we're making up. It's not some Wikipedia, Google search out of nowhere. These are actual statistics that are up to date as of right now. Not so much for 2017, but more so when they did the last study. So let's say it was all through 2015. They're going to do another one through 2016 and so on. So um, if you are able to pinch out and you can see at the top where it says 21 or sorry, 29.1 million people have diabetes, that's literally one in every 11 people. So one out of four people don't know they have diabetes or are pre-diabetic. So the example she was giving about her friends right? So if you look at your friends list on Facebook, use that as an example. If I was to look at my friends list and let's say I have 500 Facebook friends. Well, if it's one out of four, that's over a hundred people statistically that either have diabetes and don't know it or pre-diabetic. So 
um, it's good to look at it. And if you need to pinch it out as she follows, go for it. Cause I have, I had to do that the first time she was explaining once I was like, Oh my gosh, let me follow this visual. And it's really, really helpful. Um, and then she's going to talk about how that goes into the pre-diabetic and, um, how it's costing everything, um, into the medical field. So it's really, she's got a good point. It's leading you somewhere. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I don't even know where my husband is. He's supposed to be here by now, like 40 minutes. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> pre-diabetes. Um, more than one out of three of us are pre-diabetic, right? So let's say there was six people on this phone call. Two of us would be pre-diabetic, right? And then nine out of 10 don't know it. So like one of those people might not even know that they are pre-diabetic. Um, and so this is a major problem. And um, uh, blood sugars are, are just, they're affecting everybody. And a lot of times the way that it's manifesting itself is sort of in... Um, sorry. Um, so the blood sugar issue usually shows up as like a two o'clock sugar crash or something like that. A lot of people have that, um, have that issue. Have, have this paper right here, okay? Here, draw, draw all over this paper, right, right there. Um, okay, so blood sugars um, are, are a very big issue and, and it's super expensive for you not to have your blood sugars in, um, straight. So if you look there, you can see the cost of diabetes between insulin and doctor's visits and hospital trips and hospitalization, um, you know, it just adds up. So, and lost wages because people have to call out. So that's blood sugar. Inflammation is um, another major issue, okay? In 2004, Time Magazine uh, put out an article called The Secret Killer. And it said the surprising link between inflammation um, uh, and heart attacks, cancer, and Alzheimer's. I have that article. If you guys are interested, I'm happy to email it to you. What they have found is that inflammation in our body, it can be a good thing. It actually is a good thing. Inflammation is not bad. Um, if you get a little cut, a paper cut or something like that, you know, it gets red, it gets tender, it gets sore right around where the incision was um, made. That is a good thing. That is actually inflammation and the white blood cells are going toward, uh, to where the damage is and it's healing it. Excuse me one moment. All right. Um, so inflammation is is um, basically when, like, if you look at um, your little cut as like a nice warm toasty fire, and you've got your feet up, you know, and you're like drinking hot chocolate. That's like what inflammation is supposed to be. That kind of a warm little fire, right? Versus my whole house is up in flames. Oh my god! Call the fire department. Catastrophe. We have a major issue here, um, and that is the bad inflammation that we're talking about. And that kind of inflammation um, is when your body is so sick, it tricks itself into um, like thinking that it's sicker than it actually is. And it will create malignant tumors. It will start to attack itself and it will create malignant tumors. Um, heart attacks, things that they used to think were caused by plaque buildup, things like that. They're actually realizing, no, this is once again, our, our bodies basically misreading themselves and um and it results in a heart attack alzheimer's it didn't say like in the article it's not talking about preventing alzheimer's but delaying the onset of alzheimer's so they found people who took anti-inflammatories got um alzheimer's later in life than those who did not so that was the gist of the article um so from there um we go to gut health Okay, so these are some symptoms. You guys can look at this list of what, um, you know, 10 symptoms of poor gut health. Now, this is, these are 10 symptoms. I pulled 10. You could Google 
um, symptoms of poor gut health, and there's just pages and pages. So many things. And this is not about Plexus being a cure-all, okay? Plexus is not a cure-all, and in fact, as my disclaimer said in the beginning, we're not <laughs> trying to claim to cure anything. However, when you are dealing with the gut, you are dealing with the core of your body, right? Right there in the middle. Um, and what uh, you're, you're going to see is that, or what you'll learn is that your gut is connected to 80% of your health. Like it is true, they call it the second brain, things that are perceived to be a mental health issue like depression or anxiety have been found that they are actually um, in part linked to gut health. My husband um, just brought home this thing, this little flyer and it said, I don't things to do to like to, to um, beat anxiety and one was to take a probiotic. Um, so this is becoming more and more prevalent Like people are recognizing more and more the importance of having good gut health to have good general health including mental health um, so if you have issues focusing digestive issues excessive gas excessive poos not enough poos um, athletes foot any kind of fungal thing sugar cravings irritability mood swings um, constantly tired even autoimmune fibromyalgia things like that Hashimoto's um, I've even heard menopause really yeah okay, so hot flashes with the menopause the um, mm -hmm, mood changes because mm -hmm, your homo hormones are crazy thought yeah. I would interject that yeah. in problems right um any kind of like vaginal yeast type of infections things like that any place anytime you have yeast um and and you have yeast overgrowth in your body that's going to be affected and then even allergies allergies itchy eyes itchy ears um can all be linked to poor gut health and just so that you guys know because one of the things that isn't in this um is how do you get Poor gut health and that's the bigger question because ideally right if we're born with a great system how do we get poor gut health things like birth control pills things like antibiotics that we've all been prescribed since we were baby I mean since we were kids you know they'll give babies antibiotics for an ear infection or anything like that so we're very quick to um, prescribe and we're very quick to take these types of medications other things like over um, indulging in sugar, um, alcohol, alcoholics, alcoholism. I mean, that is literally fermented sugar you are ingesting. Um, and so that's going to feed the candida. Um, so I think I'm, I get into candida a little bit later. Um, so let's just kind of jump ahead into the presentation, right? What if this could change everything? Now we're all ambassadors and we've all kind of asked this question, I think. Um, and, and I think that's why we're here tonight, right? We recognize the power of plexus. Um, this is my, I don't know why I have the title here, but this is my sort of before and after. Um, this was me um, about 40 pounds heavier. And in all reality, I think it looks more like I'm about 100 pounds heavier, honestly. Um, 40 pounds is a lot of weight, but I mean, you can see my face is fully inflamed. I'm just, I'm just so sick in this picture. I can see it, and I didn't even realize it. I mean, I knew I was uncomfortable. I knew I was overweight, and I knew I had some stuff going on, but it wasn't until I started getting healthy that I realized just how many other things were out of whack. Um, and so now I feel much better, much more balanced. You know, weight loss is always going to be a struggle and you count out plexus your fork. You have got to change diet. Um, you have got to add the exercise and you have got to do that water. Um, but those three changes and gradually over time as I was ready to take those steps really um, were amazing and I believe that plexus was the key to all of that. Um, so the plexus triplex is what we're going to be talking about. Amen. That's all I had to say over that. Amen. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so we have our three products here, right? Our Slim, our BioCleanse, and our Pro Bio 5. Um, and I'm just going to touch on these really quick because um, I think we're already <laughs> we're 30 minutes into this call. <laughs> I'm just giving the products. So Plexus Slim, um, small package, big punch. 
Just a few ingredients here. We've got some alpha lipoic acid, chlorogenic acid, and Garcinia cambogia. Those are some of the main um, ingredients that I like to highlight in this because they're such great ingredients. And we also have the chromium, which really helps with that focused energy. 10 calories, guys, this is not a meal replacement. Do not have this and, and, and do not recommend anybody have this and think that's going to get them through their morning. They'll be so sad. Um, and they'll never want to try it again. Gluten-free, 100% vegetarian, not a meal replacement, as I just said. Natural berry flavor, fast and easy. Just add water and go. And we know there's no sugar in this and there's no caffeine in this. So we use um, all natural sweeteners. We use uh, stevia. Um, our drink is pink because it is made with beet extract, for those of you who did not know that. Um, and so this is not like red dye number five or whatever, you know, other artificial colors we've got in here. This is all natural, plant-based. Um, product. And I wanted to go over specifically alpha lipoic acid because my this, favorite. <laughs> yes, I know how Melanie likes her alpha lipoic acid, but it really is a, a very important ingredient in all of this. Um, so kind of a couple highlights is antioxidant. It's used for diabetes and nerve related symptoms of diabetes and is used for a multitude of diseases. So I have some notes. I'm just going to kind of go through my notes. These are my personal notes. I have done the research on these products. And so I'm just reading you guys um, what I have written down about this stuff. So um, an antioxidant, just so you guys know, is a vitamin-like chemical. It's been linked to sort of like the fountain of youth type of thing and helping people stay young and youthful. Um, it's found in a lot of foods, so I would never say you do not need to eat a nice, well-rounded, um, balanced diet. You absolutely do. So things like yeast, liver, um, kidney, spinach, broccoli, and potatoes are all great sources of alpha lipoic acid. But anytime you start talking about organ meat, I completely tune out. So liver and kidney <laughs> Going there. <laughs> maybe Kimmy, I don't know. Kimmy's a good cook. Maybe she would cook us some liver and kidney, but that just does not sound good to me. Um, so, alpha lipoic acid is used for diabetes and related symptoms um, of diabetes, including burning pain, numbness in the legs and arms. High doses of alpha lipoic acid are proven in Germany, or approved, sorry, in Germany for the treatment of these symptoms. So, Germany actually allows you to use this for medical treatment. Some people use alpha lipoic acid um, for things like memory loss, chronic fatigue, HIV AIDS, cancer, liver disease, disease of the heart and blood vessels, um, and Lyme disease. And alpha lipoic acid is also used to treat eye-related disorders, including damage to the retina, cataracts, glaucoma, um, and Wilson's eye disease. Eye disease. Um, it also seems to help prevent certain kinds of cell damage to the body and also restores vitamin levels such as vitamin E and C. Um, and you'll notice that um, Plexus products have a lot of vitamin C in them, which I absolutely love. And just as a side note, the vitamin C, vitamin C is one of the few things that helps with candida die-off. So when you're sitting there going through die-off, Plexus has already given you in the BioCleanse and in, I want to say in the ProBio5 even, um, and then with their alpha lipoic acid here, just loads of vitamin C. Um, so uh, there's also evidence that alpha lipoic acid can improve the function and condition of neurons in diabetes. So for those of you who don't know, um, the slim was designed for diabetics specifically. And then in the um, uh, trials that they were doing, they noticed there was also an added benefit of weight loss. And a lot of people were like losing weight as a result of this. And so they started marketing it as slim. Um, I know I'm not alone when I say this. I know there's a lot of ambassadors who feel that that name is slightly misleading. Um, it can help with weight loss, but it does so much more than that. And even if it didn't help with weight loss, <laughs> it's amazing. Um, so we love our slim. Alpha lipoic acid is used in the body to break down carbohydrates and make energy for other organs in the body. And it also seems to work, which we've already talked about, as an antioxidant, um, which also means that it might provide protection to the brain under conditions of damage or injury. And the antioxidant effect may also be helpful in certain liver diseases. So that's alpha lipoic acid. If you guys have any questions about that, please put it in the chat. I'm going to jump ahead to the ProBio5. So you can see um, right here, this first ingredient in the ProBio5 is uh, 150 milligrams of vitamin C. It's just sitting right there. Um, promotes digestive health, promotes a healthy immune system. Um, 
it does, there's a reason we call it a ProBio 5. There's five, one, two, three, four, five um, strains of bacteria. Oops, sorry. Um, in the probiotic. Um, the other amazing thing about this uh, um, product is that it has a digestive enzyme blend. So a lot of times people will talk about taking digestive enzymes. Now you're talking about taking two products instead of one. Okay, so we're, we're always worried about the bottom line is something expensive, is something not expensive. You're getting two products in one product. So right there, you're saving some money or at least some hassle for sure. But this digestive enzyme blend, I am going to get into one ingredient in particular in just a little bit. It is what sets this probiotic apart from every other probiotic out there on the market. Um, so we're going to talk about healthy gut flora first versus candida. So for those of you guys who don't know, candida is bad. We don't want too much candida. We do want some healthy gut bacteria that helps break down the food, that helps us process and metabolize our food, that helps with great bowel movements, those kinds of things. Candida is going to make you sick. Um, okay, so healthy gut flora, it lines the intestines. It helps in digestion, like I said. It helps make essential life vitamins and signals the immune system and also aids in brain function. We want good bacteria. Candida um, attempts to create balance, but it is so out of whack in our culture because of our diet, because of, I mean, the air we breathe. Um, <laughs> there's just so many things that can create candida overgrowth. Um, if you even think about like the pans that we use to cook, like maybe that's not candida, but we are just putting toxins in our body constantly. Um, and candida feeds on sugar and can create a false signal of sickness, right? That's what we're talking about with the inflammation. It can create that inflammation and signal false um, signals of sickness um, and even create sickness. It is very bad to have candida overgrowth and there's so many of us who have it and will go to the doctor and they won't know what's wrong with us and they have yet to realize that we have a gut health issue. I have first handedly experienced this. This is why I'm passionate about plexus because I walked for a year with no help and no answers and the doctors had these ridiculous ideas um, about what was wrong with me, including that I was just eating too much organic food and the organic food was clearly making me sick because there's no pesticides. So now you've got bacterial infections and all kinds of stuff. It was just, it was just nonsense. Um, and so anyhow, I finally did see a holistic doctor. I'm gonna stop sharing just for just just for a second here so I can share this part of my little story. So I saw a holistic doctor finally when the Western doctors could not help me out um, and I had three surgeries and anyhow, I could go into my whole medical history, but the bottom line is I was dealing with um, way too much bowel movement, okay? I was in the bathroom all the time, all the time in the middle of a meal, I'm up and I'm going to the bathroom. Um, and finally I saw a holistic doctor and he said, oh no, you've got candida overgrowth. It was very simple, like, hey, you got too much of this stuff going on. Um, however, getting rid of it was not so simple. Getting rid of it was very complicated, involved a very complicated diet and major dietary changes and the restrictions. And I literally saw the diet and I knew immediately, there's no way I'm going to be able to pull this off. There's no way I can do this for, you know, three days, let alone 30, um, or even up to 60 days. I can't do it. Now, the reason this needed to happen, just so you guys are informed on candida is, candida has um, an exoskeleton, just like a cockroach or um, a, a shrimp has that hard outer exterior. The same thing that makes up that outer shell on those um, creatures. <laughs> Um, it's the same thing that is wrapped around candida. So it's got a very hard shell and you can't just penetrate it. You literally have to starve it out of your body. You cannot give it any sugar. That's including fruit. You, I couldn't eat beans. I couldn't eat certain herbs and spices. I mean, it was just so rigid. Um, I felt very hopeless and I just continued walking in my sickness and at least I knew, at least it was a diagnosis, right? So here comes Melanie and she's like, hey, you should try my pink drink. Um, it's really good. You seem like a tired mom. And I'm like, 
<laughs> I'm like, well, I am, but whatever. Um, anyhow, when we finally got a chance to sit down, she said, what do you really want help with? And I told her about my stomach issues. Well, my holistic doctor also said, do not take probiotics because probiotics also feed candida. So you can take your culture all, all day, Larissa, but it's not going to do anything for you. And so I stopped taking it. <laughs> and I said, take your probiotics. Well, she said, said, take these. If I said, take these probiotics. They're different. Well, it, because I, I kind of kept that nugget. Yeah. And then a few, like I was getting the triplex for three months and I refused to take it. So it was like, I'm not going to take these probiotics. They're just going to make it worse. <laughs> and finally, I, Melanie would follow up. How are you doing with your products? How are you doing? I'm like, oh yeah, I'm doing the pink drink. Blah, blah. Finally, I said, look, I'm not taking the probiotics because I'm scared and here's why. And she's all, well, Larissa, I don't know what to tell you, but these are different. And I was like, <laughs> all right, I'll take it. Right? Because at the end of the day, I'm going to the bathroom eight times like throughout the day. What do I have to lose if she says they're different and I'm liking this pink drink and something's different about it? So I did. I tried it. And here's what I found. Okay, so. <laughs> Sorry, I'm giggling because I remember when she texted me a picture of her poop. <laughs> yes, I did. After and it was week, amazing was... because that was life changing for her. It was. It really was life changing. Get up in the middle of a meal anymore and like disrupt my family time or you know, I mean, those are the things that we don't think about, and it is those little things that start to add up, and then all of a sudden you don't have that quality of life that you once had, and now everything's disrupted because I gotta make a trip to the toilet. Are you kidding me? Um, so you know, mid conversation. So digestive enzyme blend. Okay, that is what sets the, these probiotics apart from any other probiotic out there. I have asked. Holistic doctor says he has only heard of one other probiotic that claims to kind of do this, and he doesn't know anything about it. So, chitosinase, that is one of our digestive enzymes, and that is a very important um, enzyme. So, what that outer shell is called, it's called chitin. Chitosinase penetrates it. That is one of the few things that can penetrate that exoskeleton. And the difference, um, and what it does is it produces lactic acid. And that lactic acid penetrates that exoskeleton. And then it compromises the cell, and then the cell dies. And so that's how you get your gut in gear, quick style. I mean, I, you know, I can't make any promises for anybody else. Oh, we have a new, I have. Um, I can't make any promises to anybody else, but what I do know is I saw in a week's time a major difference, and I went from going to the bathroom eight times a day to going three times a day, and now I go, you know, a couple times a day, and it's nice, and it's good. <laughs> it's not loose or messy or nasty. Um, you know, Plexus, we talk about poop all the time, you guys, so I'm sure you, you guys, uh, if you've been around at all, you've heard, <laughs> heard plenty about poop talk. Um, but chitosinase, that really is what sets our uh, probiotics apart from the rest of the probiotics that are out there. That's what makes it special, and that's why every time someone tells me they're on probiotics, I'm like, yeah, but you're not on my probiotics, and that is different beast completely. Um, and if they have candida overgrowth, they're just feeding that candida with those other probiotics because there's no way to kill that um, candida otherwise, um, unless you're going to serve it out. All right, so on to the BioCleanse. Now, BioCleanse, um, very good product. If the ProBio5 is our toilet cleaner, this is Randy's example, if our ProBio5 is cleaning out our toilet, our BioCleanse is flushing it. So a lot of times people will... Um, you know, maybe get extra poop or something like a, it, it is a gentle cleanse. It is meant to cleanse your body. And some people maybe even get diarrhea the first, I don't know, week or two, and that usually will clear up. But we are so full of crap, you guys, literally. This needs to happen. It's not a bad thing if people go through a, a little bit of extra poo. It's a good thing. Um, but we always want to start out with one of these and then build our way up. And what we have in here are um, vitamin C. Again, remember I talked about vitamin C helping with candida die off. So we've got the vitamin C again in the BioCleanse. We've got the um, magnesium. And then there's also some sodium. This is an oxygenated magnesium. And um, I have noticed an increase in energy when I take the BioCleanse. Just, I don't know if it's the oxygen or what it is, but 
you feel a little extra boost. Um, and then with magnesium, um, that's really what's helping clean out the body. So most of us are magnesium deficient. We do not get enough magnesium. So any of your friends who maybe have the opposite problem as me, um, right? They're not going enough. They're going every couple of days. They're really going to need that bio cleanse. Um, so we can quickly talk about some of the benefits of magnesium. Um, you know, you can I just say you said you get like energy? I get that too. So you have to play with BioCleanse for yourselves, and then if you know someone that's starting out, they have to play with it for themselves. Because me, same idea. I can't take BioCleanse after three or four in the afternoon because yeah. it's so oxygenating for me now that it it gives me energy. And so you have to remember because it's a specially formulated uh, magnesium compound, it has an <laughs> oxygenating um, oxygenating enhancement with the vitamin C from the from the bioflavonoids from the oranges. So if you feel like you have a boost, that's normal. So don't feel like, why do I feel weak? And some people, if they say, oh, I'm not sure it's for me, I took it and I couldn't go to sleep. Literally ask them what time they took it because if they're taking it at like five or six in the evening, that may not work for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so... Uh, with the magnesium, you guys, there's so many benefits. And, and the biggest one that I want to talk about is alkal, uh, alkalizing the body right here. That is huge. So when you have an alkaline rich environment, um, so many things, so many good things happen um, from how, having an alkaline rich body, including preventing certain cancers, um, including helping with diabetes, right? Things like that. Um, I use an alkaline water filtration system in my home. We paid a lot for it and it's very high quality. My cousin is adamant. She's like, you have to have an alkaline body. So for those of you who aren't, oh, can't do, can't do. oh yay, thanks honey. Um, so for those of you who aren't getting enough alkaline into your um, system, bio cleanse all the way. Um, and, um, the magnesium hydroxide is also, um, can also help neutralize acids in the stomach and, um, and once again, it helps stimulate the bowels to move. But that alkaline, um, alkalinization has also been very helpful for me. Um, recently, I started doing some bodybuilding um, and I was so sore and that um, having the alkaline rich um, body can also help um, with things like um, pain and pain management, which is what we're gonna jump into next. So that's the end of the triplex. Does anybody have any questions for the triplex? No? Anyone else? No? Okay. Okay, then I'm going to jump into our other two products, and I'm going to stop sharing my screen because I don't have any graphics for these. Um, okay. So quickly, I wanted to talk about the Ease um, capsules. Like, I've got no light. These are the Ease capsules <laughs> and the Nerve capsules. Um, my husband took out my lamp, so, like, I don't have the right kind of light anyhow. Um, so, first, I'm going to start with Nerve just because this is how I was introduced um, to these products. I ordered this because I was having major shoulder pain. And in the process of my shoulder pain and me waiting for this shipment to come, all of a sudden, I had some sciatic issues going on. Um, and this was two weeks ago because this was the last time we had this meeting, Melanie, right? Because I brought the pills and I'm like, how should I take these? And everyone has something to say. So Kathy specifically said, she was like, take two at breakfast, two at lunch, and two at dinner. I did that for 24 hours. It was like, great. I'm all cool. Thank you. <laughs> it wasn't completely gone, but it was very much improved. Um, and there's a couple of special ingredients in here. Um, the alpha lipoic acid is in here. Um, but there's also horse chestnut extract and butcher's broom. Um, and so those both are very important for circulation and help with um, circulatory issues, swelling in the legs, itching, um, uh, tiredness, any kind of pain. Um, so, um, oh, turns out it's also good for male infertility. No, insufficient evidence for it, everybody. Sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm giving that info. Um, uh, but um, 
in combination with vitamin C, seems to help relieve symptoms of poor circulation in the legs, again, such as pain, heaviness, cramps, and itching, and that's the, butch the butcher's broom. Mm -hmm. So um, circulation is huge, and this helps with the circulation. For the ease, there's a couple And I never heard of the butcher's broom. I never heard of that before, Plexus, by the way. So I don't know if you guys have heard of that before, but look it up. It's really interesting. Um, now that you're listing those things, but I never even heard of it before that, you know, you think, you know, supplements and things on the shelf, but, um, there's so many cool things that they use in Plexus that we don't even know. Yeah. I use it and it helps with the varicose veins. Yes. Mm hmm Yep. It's, it's on here. It says that's exactly what it says it does. So I've just been doing some kind of quick research on this because these are sort of newer to me. Um, the Ease product. So any questions on nerve? If you guys have any kind of nerve related thing, you're like, it's not a joint, it's something weird, you know, it's like, it's not my muscle. It's your nerve. You've got nerve pain. And I always... Well, if, you, if you know someone that can use it, anyone that has anything with a neurological issue going on, but um, I mentioned that because I've used this example before. My brother, he just turned 22 and he was using nerve for three months straight because he was diagnosed with juvenile uh, arthritis. So he was able to release some um, medication going from like five down to three because the regular nerve use of nerve was actually helping him feel better. So, um, you know, arthritis, fibromyalgia, those kinds of things where your actual nerve endings are affected. That's why this product is so, I feel like it's the most unspoken product, right? In the whole plexus line, because it literally makes or breaks a person um, because of the minerals and herbs and amino acids. There's actual amino acids in it to support the nerve ending. So. Well, and what I really like is like, even as they were saying, you know, combining these things with vitamin C, um, which we were talking so much about really does help. And, and, and my point is that Plexus as a whole, the entire product line is designed to work together. So, you know, I have someone right now, she wants to sign up, but she's like, well, I already have a probiotic and I already have, and I'm like, you could totally stick with your stuff. I'm just saying it's probably going to work better if you use it together because they're designed to be taken together. Um, so that's no mistake. Um, so, okay, so with nerve, I think we're good. Good with nerve. We can move on. We'll do the ease now. So ease. So this is another pain management product. So I told you guys I started doing some bodybuilding. I used to, like, be like, oh, ease, nerve, who needs this? This is, you know old people, <laughs> like, these are the old people product, that I, I mean, please, I'm going to be 40 this year, but my point was, all of a sudden, I say these things, right, and now I'm like, these are my favorite things, because I'm in so much pain all the time, um, the first day that I did my, um, first, like, weight training, um, she had us do our legs, and my daughter, that night, tried to, like, climb on me, and I'm, oh, it was so, so bad, um, and my ease capsules had come, and I'm like, I should try those, and I tried the capsules, and it was, like, like, done, like, done and done, so now, every day, I, w I wake up, I work out at 5 a.m., and I come home, and I do a P96 shake, I do my protein 96 shake, and I take two of these, and I have not had any pain. And my trainer's like, are you having any pain? Well, no, sure. I'm not having any pain at all. Or um, maybe you say you are, so she's easier. No, she's like beating me. Um, I'd be like, no. Oh, yes. Ah, sorry. Right? So there's a couple of things that I wanted to go over here. This actually has three really great products. I'm going to try to go through these really quickly. Um, so the first thing is New England or New Zealand Green Lipid Muscle Powder. Um, and so um, people, they use this as a medicine. Um, it's available in freeze-dried ground capsule form and is great for rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, and even asthma, which I um, am a bit of an asthmatic. Um, I haven't had major attacks in a while, um, but supposedly asthma um, can, can benefit uh, from this. Okay, sorry, I just lost my hand. It's a good substitute for a Motrin or an ibuprofen. So if someone really doesn't want to take those and have that um, issue, a lot of us forget that those medications like that affect our liver after a prolonged amount of time. Yeah. And people go, no, I have my, I don't want to name drop, I have my Advil, I have this, you know, I'm, I'm fine. And the problem is they're not realizing 
Well, the prolonged taking in of that is affecting your liver, your, your blood count, your red cell, white cells. I mean, we can get so scientific, yeah. but um, if someone's on a regular regimen of something like that, A, there's an underlying cause they're taking it. And B, if they really need to take a pain management, why not go for a supplement that's natural? Yeah. Um, my husband is a veteran and the VA loves to hand out drugs. They love it. They'll say, what do you need? No problem. Here's your script. And they will hand out ibuprofen like it is candy. And he told them, you need to stop because I have a supplement. He takes ease for his um, injury from Iraq. And um, he's actually taken that over to his VA doctor soon to um, see if they'll write a script for that. Because if they do, then <laughs> we can get that covered. <laughs> but um, if it's a good option, then yes. But if someone is allergic to shellfish, you have to mention right. that about ease because they just because they're allergic to shellfish doesn't mean they'll have a reaction to ease but you have to put that out there because it is a muscle from the ocean it's like a real natural thing <laughs> well you want to make sure like for instance my mom has gout she should not be taking this because she has you know shellfish can bring on a gout um a bout of gout. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> the other thing that's in here. Sorry, is, I found that really funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, is uh, serapeptase, which I got really excited about when I started reading up on serapeptase. Um, this has so, so many different um, functions. It can help with um, arthrosclerosis. Arthrosclerosis. Osteocro oh, wait. I don't know. No. <laughs> it soothes redness. It helps with traumatic injuries, pain, edema, swelling, um, cystic breast disease. Did you guys know that Plexus was started as a breast cancer company? Uh, breast health, breast health breast, company. Breast, breast health company. So this can help with cystic breast disease. Helps infections in the ear, nose, and throat. Um, carpal tunnel and some other benefits. Um, potential benefits, I should say. Um, uh, nerve damage again so like these two really do work well together and I a lot of times so, like yesterday she had me doing all these things and it, my, my back started acting up again so I took the two with this um, chronic ear infections hay fever, lung congestion, swollen glands laryngitis, um, chronic pain arthritis, neck and back diabetes, ulcers um, osteoporosis, prostate problems rheumatoid arthritis, sports injuries I mean the list just goes on I going to be here all night reading you guys things, but anything, any kind of pain, um, you know, this is, this is going to be a good, good friend to you. And then there's, um, turmeric in here as well. And also you guys, um, turmeric is a natural anti-inflammatory. So again, going back to that inflammation, turmeric, um, I started giving my dog these, my dog has cancer. They wanted him on an anti-inflammatory. I asked the doctor, can he take this? And he said, Oh yeah. And it has turmeric. I love turmeric. Yes. He can totally take this. So my dog is taking this for cancer along with the two omegas, uh, or two omegas. Um, but turmeric is a spice that comes from the turmeric plant. Um, it's used for arthritis, heartburn, joint pain, stomach pain, Crohn's disease, colitis, um, uh, uh, diarrhea, gas, stomach um, bloating, loss of appetite. So um, turmeric itself has a, a big, big array of things. So those are kind of the three big ingredients, I think, for this is the New England. Or Which is huge because the underlying chain of all these is inflammation. It is. There's inflammation happening. Ah, inflammation to can, affect everything. <laughs> yeah, it really can, though. It's very serious. Um, these have a little bit of an odor to them because of the um the um muscle powder but i think it's very gentle and you keep it in your freezer and you just take it and it's not that big a deal and then lastly last 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 the ease cream so i don't have that with me right now but i used it the other day i took it in for um with me to get a massage it's very very cold it's very very cold i wouldn't ever do a full body massage with it again and she only used it like on part of the massage i'm like that's enough um but if i needed that you know uh i think it's great i thought it was great and um just on a side note next time my kids get a fever i'm probably going to put that on their backs because it literally makes them cold um 
So does anybody have any questions about any of these products? They obviously have multiple uses. I mean, um, I didn't even realize until I was reading through this stuff. My friend has colitis. I've been trying to figure out how to help her with her colitis and plexus. And I'm going to suggest she might want to add some ease to that since turmeric can help with colitis as well. So um, that's, that's Well, they're all created to help each other as be as companion products. So <laughs> the reason that we always mentioned about triplex too is because it's such an universal combo for so many people for so many reasons well, you know yeah. yeah and you know some people can go okay I see the clinical studies and I want to use it to help in my gut health to aid in my weight loss great go for it some people say look I want to help with my autoimmune issues okay great go for it there's so many issues and then what is forgotten I think is the ease and the nerve that is connected with that for inflammation so if someone's having discomfort and pain and you're like oh but take your triplex well don't forget that there's also the ease that are companion products for it <laughs> and side note if you want to have your slim be fancy mix it in a LaCroix sparkling water <laughs> Ooh, you're super fancy. then it's fancy um okay I'm gonna unmute everybody just so that if you guys have anything to add Kimmy you are looking so good you look pretty <laughs> oh thank you <laughs> um, any, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to stop the recording. Um, part two will continue one week from today. Um, and we will go over the rest of our products. I know that's a lot of information. If something comes, if something comes to you later, let us know, you know, Hey, she mentioned about this. I looked it up. What do you think? You know, yeah. tell us. Um, so join us, uh, one week from tonight. It's going to be what? March 1st. Is that March 1st? Yeah, already. Isn't that crazy? March for 7.30. <laughs> okay. Kitty's like, no, not March 1st. March 1st. It's going to be two weeks back to back because this is part one. And part two, we're going to go into weight management products as well as a couple other things and how they tie in together with tonight. So thanks for okay. watching. I'm stopping the recording.